and welcome back everybody are you ready for the next part we most certainly are ready to go back on trail just leaving the parking lot there's already some snacks for us but since we just came out of town we didn't really grab any yeah we have an amazing week ahead of us i hope you enjoy it Today is one of the hottest days so far, but like you can see it didn't really ruin the mood. We are still dancing, but yeah, it changes a little bit later on today, um, but let's enjoy what we can while we can. So I enjoyed that there was a lot of flowers starting, start coming back, growing back on the trail while hiking through all of the burned areas. That's like I mentioned earlier, it's a little bit sad walking through all the dead trees. So seeing that there is new life on the, its way, it's kind of cool. had a lot of exposed area today and I'm struggling with the heat like you people know and uh, it was a struggle. Luckily it was only 18 or 19 miles into Belden this day so we made it all the way but when I saw this I was really concerned that I had to walk all the way down there. Luckily this is not our trail. So I got into Belden, we got some food and some cokes and find a nice little camp spot right here. The next morning I'm up and on the trail around 3.30 in the morning. So I'm hiking with a headlamp, <laughs> reaching a broken bridge. That was kind of interesting. Uh, I made it. Um, uh, the reason why I'm getting up that early is that we have a 13 mile uphill climb in the heat and to beat the heat and the sun, I decided to night hike the most of it. 
and that was the best decision I could make. It was kind of um, spooky starting out in the night. I don't mind night hiking whatsoever, but I had to get out of Belden. And Belden is a town, and when you're in a town, you're with people, and where there are people, there's crime. So I was a little bit concerned for the first two miles of the trail, but after I reached the broken broken bridge, uh, I felt fine. <laughs> so, and everything is good. I survived, everybody else survived, everything is good, and we are hiking, hiking, hiking. We are reaching 1300 miles. I feel like they are just flying by. I think I just showed you 1200 and now it's 13. It's just going so fast right now. But that's kind of exciting too. Most of the day today I hiked with Platinum right here and we found this lovely camp spot. We had the most beautiful sunset and as soon as the sun set the moon came up on the other side. Unfortunately it came up right at uh, the end of my tent so it felt like I had a spotlight shining right into me all night. But it was so pretty I couldn't really blame anybody or anything about it. Look at that. And not only we had a really beautiful sunset, now we got a beautiful sunrise right here too. Oh, that was lovely.
So most of the blowdowns we got, it's pretty easy to get either over or under. This little one though was a little bit of a challenge. I had to go down on my knees and crawl under it. And it's a messy business. Look at me, all dusty. This is something that makes me really sad. Um, a lot of the burnt trees, if they got a new injury, they look like they're really bleeding. Something, I have no idea how this happens, but it looks terrible uh, and fascinating at the same time. But let's not dwell on that. Look here, it's the mid point marker i'm halfway through how exciting is that so every step from now on i take is getting me closer to canada and it's less miles to canada than it is to mexico this is so exciting guys um, i can't really tell um, it's a huge day for me and obviously not only for me here comes sips dancing yeah, uh, me, super excited, me and Remedy really happy and then we got Sips, Remedy and me um, posing on the midpointer. It's so exciting. Thank you guys for sharing this with me. Not only are we reaching the midpoint, now we're getting trail magic too. Thank you so much. Fresh fruit, a Coke and a ride down to town. That was really cool. Thank you so much. While Gnome Remedy and Zips are going back to trail, I'm staying in town tonight and enjoy a lovely dinner with on and off, flat spot and ghost. That was really delicious. Next day, starting with a great breakfast and a local bakery showing me their production and offering me a job. <laughs> Thank you guys, maybe I'll be back later next year. And yeah, getting a ride out of town. So on and off, flat spot, ghost, and I decided to skip a section of about 40 miles due to the issue that we talked about a couple of times now, having no shade on the trail due to the burned area and it's really really hot and i just can't deal with it so we skipped ahead to old station and hiked out from there and um, took a little side tour down to a lava cave that was so interesting
what a change of scenery walking through the burnt trees for so long and now having this open space everything is green it's like a plateau um, but still pretty pretty hard um, but it's manageable and we uh, do about i don't remember i think about eight miles getting out of old station we hiked out around four o'clock in the afternoon and hiked until about eight o'clock and found a really awesome camp spot where we enjoyed a beautiful sunset and we had a nightly guest a little deer looking at, at our camp spot um, there will be a picture of that in a little while Good morning. So I guess the face I'm making right now is due to the cold. It was more cold in the morning than I expected it to be. But to be honest, I'm not really sure if that was the reason for my face. But yeah, who cares? It might be uh, the cold or it was because of the deer rustling and I got scared. <laughs> I'm not really sure. about this beautiful scenery and pop, all of a sudden there's a cow I was not prepared for that but I walked through a, a field of cows this morning that was interesting reaching the water source but I have to wait somebody else is in line before me and taking a little bath fair enough I've got time and come on he's cute Today seems to be the day of the small creatures, the little bird we saw having a bath, a little caterpillar on my leg and then the, oh, the yellow velvet uh, ant and this one, I guess it's an ant too, a flying one, I, I'm not sure, somebody will tell me, I guess, whatever this is and uh, dragonfly in a second, there's a lot of stuff going on today.
so then I thought my shoes were really beat up. They don't look good, but let me tell you, that's nothing. <laughs> look at flat spot shoes. Ugh, all ripped open. So yeah, we made a little marathon today and got all the way into town. So in Bernie we were allowed to use the church facilities to sleep in, that was quite cool and I got my package that my mom sent me with some new shoes. It was time. I know they're not as bad as flat spots but it was time and while I'm at it getting new clothes all the way. And the guys in the background here they shared their leftovers with us. They were out camping for the weekend and had a lot of food, a little bit of whiskey left. Uh, so they thought they'd come up to where the PCT hikers are sitting and having their campgrounds and sharing their food with us. We were so grateful. That was really cool. We, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. <laughs> And this was it for this week and um, I know it's the second time in a row we are stopping on a party kind of but come on we are out here to enjoy ourselves so I hope you enjoyed this part and thank you for watching I hope to see you soon